Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Solid. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, my fellow developers insist on putting all the business logic inside a single class. So quote unquote we know where it is. And they are saying that the Solid principles are is over engineering. Is there any real counter to this? Well, I don't know what you mean by all logic, but I pray and hope that you don't mean all of the logic in the entire system, in effect creating what what's lovingly called a god class. Because if you could create a god class, uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Uh, can you reverse? Uh, can you ask them just for me? Ask them this question. Do you like the prospect of having to write a unit test where you have to basically instantiate the entire system every time you want to test anything on that class? Because that is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have a class that contains literally everything, in. if, if that's what you're doing. You're going to have that one class contain everything in the system, and one of the worst parts about object-oriented programming is the problem of dependencies. Now what is that? Well, dependencies is a horrible horrible concept where in order to do one thing you need another thing to do that thing and if you have a god class or something like that you might need to I don't know, have access to a database reference or you might, for the sake of argument, have different domain entities and so forth. And in order for you to do anything whatsoever with your class, in order to instantiate that thing, you're going to need all these other things. And they, my friend, they also have dependencies. And this continues. It works as a tree. It's a dependency. It's a, it's a graph, basically, a tree graph. Uh, no, it's a it's a tree. It's a tree of dependencies, and the problem with that is that uh, you have to find the leaf somewhere. You're going to have to instantiate things until you have everything, or find a sequence of dependencies where you don't have any other dependencies. And the more stuff you have in a single class or even a single module. Uh, the harder it's going to be for you to do that, and that's fine if all you're ever doing is running the system as in production. But if you ever want to do anything else with it, that's going to be a horror show. And let's not even talk about the complexity of having all the logic in a single class. I mean, if let's say, I mean, because they, they might be correct in the sense that if you have a class where, well, all you really have are a bunch of static functions, the pure functions, and the class is really just a wrapper, you really don't instantiate this thing, it's just functions well then it might make a lot of sense I mean for the sake of uh, you can still split it out there's no real reason to have everything I mean the, the argument so we know where it is have you heard about directories it's this cool thing where you can take a bunch of files and put them in the same file in, 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 in the same group that could also work that works really well I've tried it a few times. It's a little bit out there for me, even for me, but it's, it's showing some promise. So you can try that. And as for the dependency thing, it's actually just the other day, just yesterday, uh, my fr uh, my friend. Finally, I was so happy that this happened. And he he came over to he came over to me and he said, uh, my coworker, he said, Frederick, I finally understand you. And I go, Wow, can you tell me all about it? Because I don't really do that. Uh, well, not all of the things, but I understand why you, you why you want us to use functions as dependencies to uh, as services. Like why you why you want everything to be a function instead of being a service. And I go, please let me know. Can you explain why? Well, because I you know when I was doing this thing over here where I had these this big service, and I realized that because of a new dependency that I had on the system, I was going to have to. I, I, I had to split out the logic between uh, this uh, product service between reading and writing because uh, in or, uh, I, because I couldn't do it any other way because it was I had a circular dependency and so I needed to rem remove the reads because those reads I could instantiate without 
the circle dependency, but the writing operations in my service group, my service, I could not do that. And I said, yeah, I remember I told you you should not, you shouldn't. This is con like conceptually much more complicated. And he said, yeah. And now I basically have the same problem again. And I realized that if I had just not had a service, if I didn't group all of my logic into these big buckets, because the thing is, I really only needed one function from my service, from this object that I was instantiating. And if I had just moved that out into its own module or like done a functional programming type of thing where it's just a, it's just a function that lives in a module somewhere, it's not grouped together and need, isn't required as part of an instantiation, if I just pass the function in, then I could have removed all the need to instantiate all the other shit that I had because I didn't need it to do this thing. And I go, that is exactly why. That is why I argue that the most important one of it's, I want to give it more credit than that, functional programming has one of the most important lessons to teach. And that is if you treat functions as first class citizens, your code will actually become a lot, it's more loosely coupled. And that's the, con I would say, this is your strongest counter argument to this. The coupling in code, like the stronger cup the coupling is, the harder it is to move around. The worse it's going to be for you whenever you want to do testing or you want to change things or so forth, or if the there's a change in specification, uh, it's harder for you to move code around because it's all tied together in this really tightly knit ball of yarn. But if you actually segment things in a logical fashion, then you can actually be more flexible. It's very similar to the same thing that we do with microservices, if you haven't thought about that. The difference between a monolith and a microservice is that the monolith has the same problem. Everything is in one single code base, and when you don't have a lot of code, that's fine, because you know the, the complexity and the dependencies aren't all that great. But at some point, it actually makes much more sense for you to take all these tiny pieces and create separate modules for them so you can depend on them in isolation because not every piece of logic is tied into every other piece of logic and when you get to that point this is where you, you actually have, have a lot of value from something like microservices and at a code level as I explained to, as my coworker finally has now realized and he now he's actually asking me can we try this out like can we start doing that in our own code and I say yeah we can do a light thing let's just start by instead of passing in an entire object of services and methods and stuff like that to as a dependency to our other services let's just add the function Look at because that's the thing. You, the service that is in, that needs to do whatever it's supposed to do, it doesn't need to know about the entire other object that knows how to do that thing. It just needs the function with the signature, uh, input ID for product or whatever, get product back. That's all it needs to know. And then you put that function into your logic, whatever there's, uh, that uh, code is doing, and that's it. Because the promise if you're guaranteed that promise, a pr the promise of having a value is the thing that you're looking for. You're, you're not interested in how do I get that value? That's irrelevant. And what's beautiful about that is that the function is the least amount of information that you can get. It's the same principle as, you know, how a lot of people who like to do object-oriented coding like to put in an object, the domain entity, into their function instead of the value. And in many cases, you will have code where you have a function that takes in the user, and all you're actually after on the user is the username. There are pros and cons with that. One con is that that is more information, that like you now need to instantiate a user to be able to run that function, and sometimes it's actually very hard for you to get that user instantiated. And that's the key argument I want you to give your coworkers. Because when you have everything in the same class, apart from the overall problem that it might cause in terms of comprehension and so forth, it creates very strongly coupled code. And that is a bitch and a half to deal with when you want to move things around. So what I want you to take away from this is that if your coworkers are suggesting that you have everything in a single class, I really do hope that they mean like some specific entity because that's the thing. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. So it could be that this is very valid because as I was saying, there is situations where you might just want to group a bunch of functions. I mean, if you have an entire file, it doesn't matter if it's a thousand lines of code, if everything in the entire class is just static functions that are pure like yeah they take in a value and produce a value there's no instantiation going on it's just a wrapper around a lot of functions that's perfect it's that's there's no real downside to that you can of course try this experimental features uh, feature with directories and just have 
some segmentation if you want that, but that's a little bit wild, I, I admit. Uh, and the other thing that they should be aware of if is, is if that they're doing the thing I'm worried that they're doing, that they're really like creating a super go a god class. Uh, what's going to happen is that that god class is not only going to be extremely complicated to comprehend over time, uh, it's also going to be extremely hard to write any meaningful tests or instantiate things in any way, because in order for you to instantiate that thing, you have to instantiate the entire system. And in many cases, when you're working on features that only depend on part of the logic that you are going to find in that super god class, that doesn't matter, because everything is tied together in one big ball. You need everything to just get at one part of the thing, and that's not an ideal situation. It's the same thing with monoliths and microservices. You split things out into smaller pieces so that if you only need that piece, you can deal with that piece instead of the entire system. Have a great day.